Welcome second graders. I am Miss Kay and today for our lesson we are going to be focusing on standard 2.0 AA represent and solve problems involving addition and subtraction. 2.0 AA1 which is use addition and subtraction within 100 to solve one and two step word problems involving situations of adding to, taking from, putting together, taking apart and comparing with unknowns in all positions. For example, by using drawings and equations with a symbol for the unknown number to represent the problem. Before we get started, let's take a look at our virtual class expectations. Remember, we always come prepared. We have a positive attitude. We participate. Our listening ears and eyes are on the speaker. We sit nicely with our camera on and we always try our best. If you are viewing this in your classroom, of course you don't need your camera on, but I want you to have your listening ears and eyes on the speaker. Okay, let's take a look at our first example problem. Oh no, look, this is a word problem. That just simply means a math problem with words. So let's read our word problem once, then we're gonna read it again. Tim, Tim had three baseballs in his bag. His friend borrowed two baseballs for practice. How many baseballs does Tim have in his bag now? Okay, students, I want you to visualize this. Imagine your friend Tim, right? He has his bag. It has three baseballs in it. Imagine what that would look like. Now his friend borrowed two baseballs for practice. How many baseballs does Tim have in his bag now? Well, first, what we're going to do is make sure that we have our important information. So our important information that we are going to use for this problem is, of course, how many baseballs Tim has in his bag. And we're going to circle it, three baseballs. We know we're going to do something with that number. The other thing we're going to circle is two baseballs. Okay, this is all of our important information, three baseballs and two baseballs. Now let's go ahead and write that down because we know we're going to use it. Okay, so Tim, I'm gonna put a T for Tim. Tim has three baseballs. I'm just gonna put a B for balls there. Now his friend borrowed two baseballs. So I'm gonna put an F for friend. 2B for baseballs. Okay, now I wanna think about which math operation are we going to do? Are we going to do addition, subtraction, when you guys get into the upper grades, multiplication, division? What are we going to be doing here? Well, let's even draw a picture so we can imagine it. I'm gonna draw my little bag here. I'm going to draw my little baseballs. So he has three baseballs in his bag. Okay, remember his friend is going to borrow two. So that's like his friend is taking two of these baseballs out of the bag, right? Because he's borrowing two of these baseballs. So we're going to go ahead and cross off two. That's like takeaway, right, students? We're taking away these two balls out of the bag. So we know we're going to be using subtraction, okay? Subtraction. So let's write a number sentence that shows subtraction. Well, we're gonna take our starting number, which is three baseballs, and we're gonna subtract the two that his friend borrowed, three minus two. And we wanna solve how many are left over. Well, looking at our little uh, visual here, our picture that we drew, we can count that there is only one left over, right? There's only one left over. So let me grab my pen here. We only have one baseball left over. So that tells us that our answer is going to be one. 
but we're not done there. It is really important with word problems that we label our answer. One what? One kangaroo, one cheese stick, one party hat. No, it's one baseball. We need to label it. So we're going to label it one baseball. And if you're doing a word problem and you forget how to spell, don't forget, you can check right in the problem and it's spelled for you, okay? So we're gonna write one baseball. One baseball. And that's our answer. Okay, students, that completes our first problem. Remember with word problems, look how much work Miss K did on the board. With word problems, it's important to have scratch paper nearby so that you can solve your work. You can draw pictures, label your answers, label your findings. So please make sure to use scratch paper. Okay, excellent work today. Let's go to problem number two. Problem number two reads, Candace had three pumpkin pies. Her friend gave her three more pumpkin pies. How many pies does Candace have now? Okay, Candace, Candace, we know has three pumpkin pies. Let's circle that. That's gonna be our important information in the problem. We also know we're gonna circle three more. That's also one of our little buzzwords right there three more. That's a clue for which math operation we are going to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, write down my important information in the first box. So I'm going to put a C for Candace. And she has three P, three P pumpkin pies. Now her friend gave her three more. So I'm going to put F for friend and put three P for pumpkin pies as well. Okay, remember I told you that little keyword more. We want to think about which math operation. So if Candace, we can even draw a picture. So let's say Candace here, she has one pie, two pie, three pie, and then her friend over here, Her friend is going to give her three more pies. So she's going to give her three more pies. So we're making our group larger, right? We're making our group larger. We're adding to our group. So we're going to use the math operation addition. So this number sentence would look like three plus the three that her friend gave her equals question mark. So let's go ahead and count our pies here that we drew in our picture to find the total. I want you guys to count with me. Are you ready? Here we go. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, okay, we found the total. Candace has a total of six pies. Okay, students, remember we're not done yet. We have to label our answer. So we're gonna go ahead and write six and we can even add our pumpkin pies. That sounds delicious. Six pumpkin pies. And now our problem is complete. Okay, students, let's move to our next problem. Jill baked 12 chocolate chip cookies with her grandma. The next day, they baked 10 sugar cookies. How many cookies did they bake in total? 
Ooh, okay, let's read the problem again. Jill baked 12 chocolate chip cookies. Ooh, that's important. I'm gonna circle it. With her grandma. The next day, they baked 10 sugar cookies. That's important. I'm gonna circle it. How many cookies did they bake in total? Ooh, that's a key word. Okay, let's go ahead and label our findings. So we have Jill and Grandma, and they, booked, they baked 12 cookies on the first day. We'll put CC for chocolate chip. And then on the next day, they baked 10 SC, standing for sugar cookies. But it doesn't say the specifics, so they just want to know the total cookies. So we're gonna go ahead and think about the total cookies. Now, if you wanna draw a picture, you can, but we wanna know how many cookies did they bake in total? So that means that we're going to be using the math operation addition. So our number sentence will look like this, 12 plus 10 equals question mark. If you want to use counters and draw a picture, you can. So that would look like 12 circles plus the 10 circles, and then you can count them. Let's go ahead and solve this one with the place value strategy. So we're gonna stack 12 plus 10 We're going to add our ones place first. So two plus zero, that's gonna give me a two. Then we're gonna add our tens place, one plus one, which gives me two. Oh wait, we're not done yet. Let's label our answer, 22 cookies. 22 cookies. And voila, we are done. How many cookies did Jill bake with her grandma? 22 in total. Okay, students, you did a great job today. Remember, with word problems, always have scratch paper nearby. See you later. Be sure to like and subscribe.